Hello everyone, my name is Sonny Cockert, and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all doing well. I was gonna make an entirely different video today, but the plan kind of fell into the water as it wasn't what I thought it was gonna be. So instead, you're gonna get something else, and that is all about Windows Search. So you guys have all been there, you, like, you compare it to macOS, there's Spotlight, and you go like, Windows Search is inferior, it makes no sense, it can't find my files. What is going on, Sander? What is going on? Why is my laptop or computer not searching the stuff that is clearly indexed into the Windows system? So for people that are more familiar with the indexing system on Windows, indexing allows a, well, it sets up a database of all the locations, of all the files that are on your computer, uh, depending on what files you've selected. So standard, that would be, that would be the entire C drive. Uh, you could also limit it to a few other folders if you want to, if you don't want to, to search everything with just a select few folders, which is highly recommended for speed. But people that do that, sometimes after a few moments in time, suddenly it can't find the files anymore. It will probably find it the first few seconds, but after a while, it will stop looking for those things. And I think I found the trigger as well, why that is the case, and a fix, and a permanent fix. So. Let's get started with the video. So to start off with, Windows Search has this awful issue where basically you search for something, like I have a report, it's a 10 uh, year report, or, or that's Dutch for 10 year report, and it should show up in the Windows Search. It doesn't right now. And in order to fix that, I need to go to Windows Services, believe it or not, then restart the surface and then all of a sudden the index seems to be completely rebuilt because now it can actually find all my files again and it can keep finding my files until after a few seconds when it can't anymore uh, but I do know what the trigger is now and the trigger for Windows being unable to find your files seems to be searching for something that doesn't exist so when you search for something and a result doesn't pop up it will jump seemingly out of the database and won't be able to find anything else after that. So if I go for my 10 year report and change it with a, uh, a word with three A's, uh, it can't find anything obviously and it goes like no results for 10 yeah. Uh, and well if I search again then, it doesn't show up anymore. And I think that this is the trigger. Whenever it detects something, or when, whenever it doesn't detect anything, it doesn't just restart the service. It just keeps running, but without anything to find. It's as if the previous search result keeps getting pulled back up. And until now, oh, well, so far, it won't be able to pull up almost anything. It will still feel like come up with some documents, maybe, but almost inevitably, it is gonna lose those as well. So, how about a permanent fix other than just restarting the surface? Well, I have been using an app recently that basically enhances Windows Search to a new level that I'm very pleased with. For application launching, I still use Windows Search if I want to launch Chrome because I don't put anything on my desktop, then I'll just still use the Windows Search uh, functionality for that. But when it comes to searching for specific files and documents, I prefer to use Ultra Search. So Ultra Search is an application that you can download for free and it has its own trigger buttons, it has a shortcut that you can use for easy and fast searching and I'm going to give you a run through uh, of the program, install it and show you how it all works and why I think that Ultra Search is superior to Windows Search in its current form. Okay, so to get started, let's get Ultra Search installed. So just go and Google up Ultra Search or go to jam-software.com slash Ultra Search and then go to the download button get it for the operating system that you got most people will be x64 for 64 bit or you can get the x86 for a 32 bit operating system the setup or the zip file i just recommend getting the setup and select your region and press download and after that you just install it like you would any other program so when you install the order search this is what shows up and you can bring it up with a shortcut key as well you can use the ultra search shortcut keys right here in options you can set it to control u alt shift u control shift u or windows shift u and using those commands you can bring open and close ultra uh, search on command very useful and it's uh, seemingly a little bit faster than windows search still 
Um, so the cool thing is about this program is that you can immediately sort depending on your searches. So I've got it set to type descending. So folders will always float to the top and files after that. And I can basically search for all the stuff that I want to search for here. And it all does it very well. So if I search for my LOB uh, files, file, sorry, then it's still there. It searches for folders and files within the criteria that you've set, which you can set in here, setting the plus sign. You can select folders that you want to include within the search. I would highly recommend disabling the drive and just adding folders that you want things to search, the program to search in to just narrow it down further because you don't need the system files of the entire C drive. You just need the files that matter to you. So I've added my OneDrive files, my Creative Cloud files, uh, some applications that I sometimes launch like Throttle Stop, can't be found in the Windows search, so I put it in here. Uh, my YouTube folder and my assignments folder for school. Those are all uh, within the criteria of searching. So you can set those criteria yourself and which folders to search and which to not. If you want to use the exclude filter, search for or to exclude files, then you can do that as well. So right now it will just filter out the recycle bin and any system volume information. It will just hide that whenever you search things. But yeah, it is an awesome program. If you want to search for files or folders independently, you can do that. You can search for subfolders or regular expressions within folders. Um, then in options, I would recommend setting, uh, turning on uh, launch at Windows startup, minimize the system tray icon so that when you uh, close ultra search, it removes from the taskbar and it will just go right here into the little area right here or on your uh, taskbar here in the tray. This is what it's called. This is the tray. So. That is basically ultra search. It's just a search tool that I use very frequently and it searches files correctly all the time. You can set your own criteria and all that stuff. And I think it's a really cool program and I definitely recommend it. Um, let's see, is there anything else I should probably talk about? Well, you can refresh whenever you want to. Uh, if you have re updated your file system, just press F5 and it will just rerun that same search. And it does it relatively fast. Uh, the less uh, folders you have to search through, the faster it can actually search those things. So having less folders to search through actually helps. So this is all really cool and I highly recommend you get started on it today. Okay, everyone, so that is Ultra Search. Ultra Search is a wonderful program. I highly recommend it. Uh, as you can clearly see, it solves my Windows search problems and I hope it has solved yours as well. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you think of this program. Uh, if you've used it before or if you're just using it now and you're loving it, let me know in the comments down below. Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram where I will be posting most of my updates or go to our Discord community to meet similar people. I want to thank you guys for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time. Have a good week and catch you later.